Hello and welcome to episode 4 of the Human Comedy 1 Hour Endurance Race Series. Today we're going to be focusing on the Kyoto Driving Park. The car that I used for this was the Focus RS 2018. The upgrades that I purchased for the Focus RS are the high-end turbocharger, polished ports, anti-lag system, racing intercooler, racing air filter, racing brake pads and discs, fully customizable suspension, racing clutch and flywheel, and the torque vectoring center differential. For the setup, I changed the body height adjustment to 80, anti-roll bars to four on both sides, the damping ratio compression to 30, damping ratio expansion to 40, and then we changed the downforce, the front to 70 and the rear to 160. Changing the setup like this, put our performance points over the 550 limit so here we're just messing around with a few settings to get it below the 550 limit. For the strategy we are starting on sport hard tyres we're going to pit on lap 11 or some new sport hard tyres and we're going to fully refuel as well. If you found that this guide and strategy worked for you drop a comment below to let me know. Now for the start of this race the back markers are not really a problem, the back markers will drive considerably slowly compared to the front runners. The only area that we really need to look out for is the first set of S-Bends. The AI will drive particularly slow around this sector of the track, so just be mindful of this when you are trying to complete overtakes and get around them. Now when we get to the chicane, this is definitely the hardest part of the lap. As you approach on an angle, it's really easy to brake and steer at the same time, which will make you lose control of the car. But we're looking to get as straight as possible after the first turn in, and then brake. Lap 2-3 to three is where we should be getting close to the front runners. As you can see here, I'm about half a second off second place, and about 9 seconds away from first place. As I said before, just be mindful when you get to the chicane as it can be really easy to get this wrong and as you see here, we get it all wrong and we end up hitting the barrier and we actually end up losing second place. We'll now skip ahead to the end of lap 4 and the start of lap 5. This is where we have caught first place, we're about 1.3 seconds off and we're looking to get the move done this lap. You'll notice as well that I've taken off the braking zones. This is a good track to practice on if you're looking to do the same and race without them. As we send an almighty dive bomb up the inside of Solis, we do brake a little bit late there and we end up going to the side of him. A bit aggressive, but we do end up making the move stick. Just like I said at the start, the front runners are particularly fast on this track. Just be mindful for this, as at the start of the race they will be quite aggressive and quite competitive with you. You also need to be aware of track limits as I get it all wrong here and we do end up picking ourselves up a 1.5 second penalty. This doesn't end up affecting us too much because at the end of this lap Solis ends up boxing. He will end up boxing twice so he's not that much of a threat. This now gives us a chance to build a gap to second place before we complete our pit stop on lap 11. Speaking of lap 11, it's now our turn to box. We are exactly half 30 minutes in so this is perfect for our one stop strategy. We're going to change for a new sport hard tyres and we're going to completely refuel. This refueling process does take an absolute eternity, but it's worth it to have enough fuel to go to the end of the race. When we're coming out of the pits, careful not to cross the solid white line on the right hand side. So you're Outlap and the following lap will be a little bit annoying as you have to make your way through the traffic again but you're going to be on newer tyres so you're going to be a lot faster especially through the chicane sector where the AI just seem to go extremely slowly and I go off track again and pick myself up a two second penalty. Being a bit too eager there. We'll now go over my fastest lap and the braking points if you are struggling. 
First breaking point is on the yellow painted tarmac. And we're going down to third gear. When we get to the S's, we're going to use as much curb as possible. Our next braking point is halfway between the yellow painted lines on the track and the red and white curbs. And again, we're going down to third. You can go, you can stay in fourth here, but I prefer to go down to third. After the short right-hander, we're braking at the first white marker on the grass on the left-hand side. Going down to second gear, being as close to the inside as we can, holding a quite a tight line. Short shift up to third and then back down to second. AI does get in the way slightly here, but we are braking just as we go under the gantry. As we get to the end of the straight, we're braking at the yellow and grey barriers, and we're going down into second gear. I broke a little bit late there and ended up going wide. After the sweeping and left and right hand, they will break in just as we get onto the yellow painted tarmac once again. We're going down into second gear. I'm going to say it again, but just be careful at the chicane because if you brake and steer at the same time, you're going to end up going off. So make sure your car is straight. So the best way to do it is to turn into the right hander, get the steering wheel as straight as possible, then brake, then turn left. And for the final braking point, we are braking as we get to this hut on the left hand side. And then cross the line and do a 2 minute 43.6. Now barring you have no moments on track and end up going off or getting, getting some severe penalties, should end up winning by quite a comfortable margin and completing around 22 laps. And of course, for getting first in this challenge, you will earn yourself 1.2 million credits. Thank you so much for watching. On the left hand side will be a link to a playlist of all the Gran Turismo 7 missions. And on the right will be a link to the next one hour endurance race when I have uploaded it.